now that they take away our platforms, they take away our pay- payment services, they take away our everything. Mm-hmm. How do we fight back? Do we start another YouTube and then they take away that too? Or do we have to use political means to fight back? Um, there are there are two ways of doing it. Um, honestly, at the moment, the conservatives in the US are in the driving seat when it comes to political means. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with using them. You know, the, none of this would go against conservative principles as I understand them. Yeah. Um, this is not a free market. It is not... Uh, there is no fair procedure and there is no just uh, cause behind it. There is no um, method of appeal either. So no, you could not describe the way that um, people like Tommy Robinson or Paul Joseph Watson on Facebook, are, uh, the, the way these people are being treated is monstrous. Mm-hmm. And if we, if we, I say we, and when I say we, I mean just the people who are not the radical left at this point. It, you know, the, if the normal sort of centrist people were to act in that way to them, they would be howling and we would be rightfully in the wrong. Um, so there's no question of it. There's there's every reason to look at Silicon Valley as a, a cartel or a monopoly, something like that, because these platforms are. I mean, for example, Paul Joseph Watson, because Instagram is owned by Facebook, he's removed from both platforms in the same day, even though they've got different terms of service, right. even though he didn't actually break any of the rules as they can show them, especially the same with Tommy Robinson. Um, but it's a, it's a... It's an entire sweep mm-hmm. over any of the platforms that that company owns. You know, it's not just on that thing. So they're obviously not acting independently because they're owned by the same company. Exactly. So there's, they, I mean, and this is just demonstrably true. So there's every reason to think that antitrust laws can be used in these regards, I think. Um, f- failing that, there is also the option for the conservatives to actually do something here, but it has to be essentially root and branch. You know, so they're going to have to start with their own uh, their own search engines, their own payment processes, their own their own platforms, and build up to what the um, what the and it, it's not our own domain services. It, it, precisely, own, right. yeah, yeah. It's, it's not even what the left has built because the left didn't build this; it co-opted this. You know, Silicon Valley. Uh, if you look at the uh, the the people running owning the Silicon Valley tech giants. They look like they're frightened children. They look like they're on top of a beast that, of their own making that they didn't realize would turn into a monster, and it clearly has. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg actually had to make a principled defense of Holocaust denial right. uh, before he got absolutely smashed by the reaction from the rabid left, going, well, hang on a second. It's like, yeah, look, he doesn't say he agrees with them, but he believes they have a serious conviction, and should he be the arbiter of truth? Well, the left has pressured them into becoming the arbiters of truth, which the, is a rod for their the own The old backs. idea was, if someone has a stupid idea, let him say yeah. it, and you can smack him down and it, prove him wrong. That's content. That's what we do, you know, that's right. and that's what they should be doing. They should be like, well, great, you know, Alex Jones has said something ridiculous. We're going to laugh at him, and the whole I've world never heard will be him laughing. Say anything. I don't know what you're talking. He never well, says anything ridiculous. Bad example. Are, but... you fr- are you trying to say that the frogs are not gay? That's no, no. That crazy. was one thing that he was completely he correct on. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He got that. If, if anything, he was underplaying that one. <laughs> that he was, they was telling them trans, but um, that's right. But yeah, but no. So th- there are there are things that the right can do, but the 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 problem I think is. Um, the right is generally quite libertarian, yep. um, and r- principally so. Like it, it, It's a very strong moral conviction, and one I am genuinely sympathetic to, mm-hmm. but I'm not a libertarian because I do believe that the state has a role. This is exactly and, how I feel. Yeah, exactly, right. There, there, is, there is a role for the state, and I think that it is to protect our rights, and in the case of the market, the market's not a perfect entity. You know, when you have a competition, effectively someone has to win. And if you want the competition to keep going, then you have to make sure that the winner doesn't just monopolize everything that you have. Yep. And so there, there is a there is a role, in my opinion, for the state to intervene if something is becoming demonstrably unfair in this regard. And I think it is. You know, right. I mean, like people are being deplatformed for not even breaking rules. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the Facebook one was the most um, egregious one for Tommy Robinson, in my example, because they they essentially made up a bunch of things that Tommy had not said and said that in the previous months he had said, you know, kill all Muslims and things like this. It's like, look, if, if Tommy Robinson had posted that, he's, he's, he's under such scrutiny and he has such a large audience, or he had such right. a large audi- audience, that the second you saw that, you'd see the clip of that or the, the screenshot, whatever, it'd be everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And he'd be in jail. He'd be in jail right, right now. He'd have a, you know, because we have these laws in the UK. So the fact that they could just make this up, provide no evidence, mm-hmm. and then shut down all of his accounts, that, that to me is really concerning. It's terrifying.